Well, Mitt Romney's 47 percent comment is still alive, and both of the campaigns are dealing with them in two new ads. Let's have a listen first. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. When Mitt Romney dismissed 47 percent of Americans for not pulling their weight, he attacked millions of hardworking people making $25,000, $45,000 a year. They pay Social Security taxes, state taxes, local taxes, gas, sales, and property taxes. Romney paid just 14 percent in taxes last year on over 13 million in income, almost all from investments. Instead of attacking folks who work for a living, shouldn't we stand up for them? Too many Americans are struggling to find work in today's economy. Too many of those who are working are living paycheck to paycheck, trying to make falling incomes meet rising prices for food and gas. More Americans are living in poverty than when President Obama took office, and 15 million more are on food stamps. President Obama and I both care about poor and middle class families. The difference is my policies will make things better for them. We shouldn't measure compassion by how many people are on welfare. We should measure compassion by how many people are able to get off welfare and get a good paying job. Potomac Watch columnist Kim Strassel joins me now to talk about how effective these ads really are. Kim, welcome. Let's, Hi. let's start with Mr. Obama's ad. Basically, hey America, Mitt was wrong, I care about you, everybody pays a little taxes. What's your reaction? How effective is that message? I mean, I think this is a very predictable ad from Barack Obama. The 47 percent comment that Mitt Romney gave, it has certainly given them some more ammunition. But in reality, this has been the Obama theme since the beginning of this campaign, which is that Mitt Romney is a fat cat. He doesn't care about the middle class. He just is going to raise taxes on the middle class to help his wealthy friends. Um, and, and this is what they've been driving at. Now, I think that there has been some resonance out there and that you have seen that in the polls. But there's, this isn't necessarily anything new. OK, well, then let's move over to the Romney ad, which, as far as I can tell, is about empowerment, not welfare. Uh, I'm for lifting you up. Uh, where has this message been throughout the campaign? And what's your well, take on it? Yeah, I mean, I, I do think the Romney ad was less predictable, and, and it's very interesting. Uh, the unfortunate aspect for the Romney campaign is that because this ad comes after the 47 percent comment, you have a lot of the press saying, you know, this is his defensive move, uh, this is his way to try to make up for the mistake. What's actually interesting is that this is a very good ad. This is the sort of ad that he should have been running the entire campaign, and, and it's for two reasons. One is it actually takes some of these Obama uh, uh, criticisms and throw them back. The argument is that we should not be measuring people on, on how many, we should not be happy that there are so many people on welfare, we should be taking them off. Uh, and this gets to the heart of the problem that Obama has, which is that he has presided over a very poor economy, which has been harder on the middle class and the working poor than probably any presidency in recent history. I think the second thing that's interesting and important about the ad is that you have Mitt Romney face to face talking to the camera, the candidate himself making his pitch to Americans. This has been lacking in the Romney campaign so far, uh, and it's probably a good new move for him. Okay, we're going to have to leave it at that. Potomac Watch columnist Kim Strassel joins us from Washington. Kim, thanks so much for being with us.